Your vodka, sir. Thanks. You look preoccupied, if you don't mind my saying so. Problems with the investigation? Blake is convinced that Mars is the killer. Not you. I thought there was some evidence to that effect. That's true. But it just doesn't make sense. His psychological profile doesn't fit. Neither does the geolocalization. I can't see this father drowning eight victims before kidnapping his own kid. Mars is not the origami killer. I'd stake my life on it. Then who is? I haven't the faintest fucking idea. Maybe you should review the evidence in your possession. That's just what I was thinking of doing. Oh, one last thing, sir. You should be careful not to overindulge in you know what. It can be dangerous. Very dangerous. I'm trying to keep a handle on it, but that's difficult. It gets more and more difficult. It'll end up killing you if you're not careful. That would be most unfortunate, sir. Well, well. Looks like there's something new. The video recording from near the park on the afternoon Sean Mars disappeared. I doubt there's anything on it, but you never know. Perhaps, sir, you should have another look at your clues. A Chevrolet model corresponding to the tire prints passed at 1602 heading for the park went in the opposite direction at 1637. That could fit the time that Sean Mars disappeared. Could it be the killer's car? Ah, pity we can't see the driver's face. was stolen. Let's see, a certain Jackson Neville was suspected of stealing it, but the charges were dropped. Not enough evidence. Jackson Neville, aka Mad Jack involved in several cases of buying and selling stolen vehicles. Considered to be very dangerous. This guy might have provided the killer with a car. It's a pretty slim lead, but it's all I have right now.
Oh, one last thing, sir. You should be careful not to overindulge in you know what. It can be dangerous. Very dangerous. Shit, it's... it's coming. Tryptocaine. The tube is on the bedside table. All I need is to take some, and the pain will go away. I should resist. This is gonna kill me. I know I can resist. I just need to stay in control and, and do something until it goes away. I... I am in withdrawal. I need to get rid of it. It's the only way. I need to get a grip. Give it some time to pass. Manfred! Manfred! Anybody home? I was crazy to let her come with me. She's trying to help out, but she just gets in the way. I'll have to talk to her later. Hi there, Manfred. Who is it? Scott. Scott Shelby. Do you remember me? Scott! Oh, yes, yeah, of course. Well, good to see you. How long has it been? Oh, about ten years, I guess. Oh, at my age, time means nothing anymore. I, I repair clocks, but I try to forget about time. Well, how about you? Are you still with the police? Oh, no, I quit. I'm a private investigator now. Uh, this is Lauren. She's a uh, she's a friend. Hello. Oh, hello, young lady. Well, this this calls for a celebration. I'm just a thing. Wait there. I, I'm sure I I saw a, a bottle of scotch around here somewhere. Nothing much changed here. Just the dust in the clock. Do an old man a favor, would you, Scott? Tell him to call back this afternoon. Sure, no problem. Hello? Yeah, this is Manfred's. He's not available right now. Could you call back later this afternoon? Thanks. Nice to see Manfred again. Just like old times. Well, to old friends. <sighs> Do you like it? Yes, it's beautiful. It's a Stradelli, crafted in Venice in the 18th century. Mm. It's one of my favorite pieces. Tell me, Scott, what brings you back after all these years? I'd like you to have a look at an envelope. I thought maybe you could tell me about the typewriter that was used to type the address on it. 
Well, let's have a look. Now, could you pass me the uh, magnifying glass from behind the counter? Oh, sure, please? I'll get it. My eyes are beginning to fail me. Thanks. Well, let's see what this envelope has to say for itself. The Royal Five. And yes, the shape of the T's and the F's is typical of that model. Produced between 1907 and 1924. Yes. No doubt about it. It's a Royal Five. These typewriters, are they rare? No, no, they're fairly common. I'd say many folks have one gathering dust in an attic or in their cellar. Do you keep a record of all your clients? Oh, yes, indeed. At least the ones who pay. <laughs> Any chance I could get a peek at that? Well, yes, of course. I keep my account books in the office. Uh, if you're not in a hurry, I have a list of all the clients who ever bought a Royal Five or, or had one repaired. Yeah, that would really help us out. Hmm. Delighted to help. Give me two minutes, and I'll be right back with the list. You think the killer's been here? If he has a 1920s typewriter, he may have needed Manfred's services to get it fixed. We'll know when we get the list. Killer's name might be in Manfred's papers. Lauren thinks she's about to find the killer. I'm afraid she's going to be disappointed. Been a while, been a while since Manfred went into his office. Let's just take a look. Hello? Manfred! Hello? Your call is lodged, sir. A police car will be there in a few minutes. I need to know who you are, sir. Sir? Hello? God, he's dead. Oh, God. Scott? Oh, my God. What are you doing? I'm calling the police. The killer has already called the police. I think he wants us to be his scapegoats. We've got to get the hell out of here. What do you mean? We have nothing to do with his death. We were just here when it happened. Look, we're running out of time to find Sean Mars. The last thing we need is 24 hours in a police station explaining this whole thing. Well, so what do we do? Watch the front door. I'll get rid of our fingerprints from everything we touched since we came in. We better work fast. The police are going to be here any minute. What are you doing, Lord? If someone comes in, we're going to be in trouble. These are Manfred's account books. He must have been looking for owners of royals when he was killed. Forget it. we got to get out of here fast.
Gotta find everything Lord and I touched since we came in here. Old man. He didn't deserve to go like that. Scott, are you gonna be much longer? The police will be here any second. I'm almost finished. I'm running out of time. That's it. We're done. You get all the prints? Got what I got. It should be enough to prevent them from finding us. Come on, let's go. So, you claim the victim was killed while you were in his shop. Yes, he went to get something in his office. A few minutes later, I went in to see if he was okay. That's when I found him. You should have called the police immediately, Mr. Shelby. Would have saved us dragging your ass down here. Listen, we had nothing to do with his murder. We were only there by coincidence. I just wanted to spare myself a few hours declaring I didn't see anything to a police officer. P.I. or not, Mr. Shelby, don't leave town. And if you end up next door to any more dead bodies, remember to call us. Okay? Well, well, Scott Shelby. Trouble again? Wrong time, wrong place. You know what it's like. Don't sweat. I'll take care. For old time's sake. Thanks, Carter. I owe you one. You want anything at the moment? Well, I got some ideas. Nothing concrete. Well, if it goes beyond the idea stage. You tell me about it, wouldn't you, Scott? Sure. Where are we going? I'm taking you home. This is getting way too dangerous. No way. We were partners, remember? We had a deal. Listen, Lauren, I know you want to find the killer, but you're not helping me by putting yourself in danger. I'm not a child. I know what I have to do. I want to find my son's killer. You're not going to stop me. You're going to be a good girl. You're going to go home and let me get on with my investigation. Stop the car. What? Stop the fucking car! Such an idiot. I better catch up with her. I can't just leave her like that. She'd do anything to find the guy who killed her son. Crap, I have no choice. I guess I'm doing this to protect her.
Lauren! This girl's stubborn as a mule. She doesn't let up, with or without me. You miss him. Miss him so much. Do anything to hold him once again in my arms. I'm sorry. I, I shouldn't have talked to you like that. It's just that I wouldn't want to see you get hurt. What do you want? Oh, fuck it. I said a thousand times that I don't want any junkies at my door. If you want to score, man, you gotta fucking call first. Come on. Beat it. man huh keep cool <laughs> what do you want dope money tell me what you need I'm sure we can make a deal huh God, I'm gonna blow your brains out you son of a bitch Whatever you want. Got dope? I got cash? You, you want some dope? Please. Please don't kill me, man. I got children. These are my girls, see? This one's Sarah. And a little one. That's Cindy. Please, man. I want to see them again. Please. Please don't shoot. <laughs> I'm a father too. But I have no choice.
It's Sam. I got your information. And the owner of the apartment in Marble Street is a Dr. Adrian Baker. He's a struck-off surgeon. He used to sell drugs to junkies on the quad. He made some cash and bought up some cheap-ass apartments, including the one in Marble Street. Of course, he got caught. He did a few months in prison and was struck off the medical register. Interesting. Thanks for the information, Sam. I owe you one. Hey, Matt, be careful, okay? I'm on it. Talk to you later. The owner of the apartment where Ethan cut off his finger lives here. It's not much of a lead, but it's all I've got. Hi. Uh, I was told that you could get Betropin. Without a prescription. Sorry, you were misinformed. Goodbye. Hold on. I, I, I really need your help here. I can pay. Well, why didn't you say so? Please, come in. So, you're looking for Betropid, my dear? Are you having trouble sleeping? How much do you need? I don't know, um, about three, four boxes. Well, no, that shouldn't be a problem. Would you like a drink? I was just about to have one. No, thanks. Well, alcohol helps take the edge off the pills, don't you think? Anyway, we should drink a toast to our first deal. I haven't seen you around here before. Who told you about me? I met a guy at a party. He popped some betropin. Told me he got it from you. Can you get other types of medicine? Everything has a price, my dear. What about you? Do you have a price? Forget it. I'm not for sale. I heard you had some apartments for rent. I'm looking. Sorry, darling. Those are all booked up. Shame. I was looking for something around Marble Street. You're not drinking? I am, um, um, I'm, I'm not really thirsty. I'll get your prescription. Won't be a moment. Wait here. That guy gives me the creeps. I better take a look around to see if I can find anything before he gets back. Quick, I gotta find something. The doc seems to be interested in property, amongst other things. Could the doc be the origami killer? There's something about the way he looks. He seemed to be upset that I wouldn't drink. I get the feeling I did the right thing. Surgical gowns? I thought he stopped performing operations. 
Must be some kind of a weird nostalgia for the past. Maybe a quick look behind those doors. I'll make up some lies if he finds me. He claimed he had come to the census. Another one of those goddamn government spies. So, you're interested in my Marble Street apartment. I rented to my friend Paco, if you must know. Oh my god! He's gonna cut me up! I have no idea what he does there. Maybe that's where he fornicates with his dancers from the Blue Lagoon. <laughs> To be honest, I don't give a damn, because as long as he pays his rent, he can do whatever he likes. But enough with the chit-chat. I miss surgery, you see, so I take every opportunity to practice. I don't have any instruments here, so I use whatever comes to hand. I hope you won't hold that against me. Hold oh, tight. Is my stinger. <laughs> Have you ever noticed? As soon as you start to do a little housework, someone always comes calling. I'll get rid of our visitor and be right back. Don't move, I won't be long. Huh? <laughs> 
Ha, 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 ha,